keeping the user informed of what your application is doing is another important part of relaying the behind the scenes information to the user to relieve frustration and to let them kind of know what's going on. Uh, you'll see in this small demo application, uh, it's, it's very simple. I have a, a button that when you click, performs this event. And this event, uh, I really just have a loop here that waits for some period of time. Now this could be any kind of processor or resource intensive application that your application has to do, which would result in a bit of a wait for the user. And you see if I run this, uh, it's sitting waiting for me. If I click do something, I don't immediately get any feedback that the application's doing anything, so especially if I didn't program this application, I, I wouldn't know what was going on. And that could be very frustrating for a user. They, they may even go to an extreme, such as assuming your, your application is frozen and kill it, or um, they may just think it, it, it's not doing anything. So one way to, to solve this is to add a, a progress bar or some kind of indicator. So if I come into here, numeric, system, horizontal, we call this slide progress. This is give us one way to update the user. I'll just put this in my loop. And this works very well if you know exactly how long uh, a given task is going to take. So now when I run and I hit do something, you'll see I get a nice progress bar that lets the user know that we're about to get done. Okay, now we're done. Um, that doesn't work so well in cases where you don't know exactly how long a given task is going to take. And that might be saving to disk where you're not quite sure how long you're not going to get regular updates. So another good technique is to use the busy cursor, which changes your the cursor from the familiar pointer into a, either an hourglass on, on older Windows operating systems. I'm on Windows 7, so it'll be a little uh, circular icon. So this is relatively easy to do in LabVIEW. Just go to Dialog and User Interface, and then come down to Cursor. You get the Cursor palette, and you'll see there's a Set Busy and an Unset Busy VI. Um, you can also set the cursor to any arbitrary uh, cursor image, but the, the busy ones are so commonly used uh, that they're in there by default. So if I just go set and unset and put those either side of my task, you see by default it has some inputs. Uh, most of these can be ignored if you want. Uh, it's going to assume it's the current VI. Uh, you may want to pass in a reference to an upper level VI uh, in more advanced use cases. It's also by default going to disable clicks. So preventing the user from clicking on any other um, front panel elements while they're while you're waiting or in your busy loop. Uh, that's something you may or may not want in your application. So I've wired that through now and you'll see when I run, my application's running, I click do something and the cursor is changed to the busy indicator. Once the progress is complete it will change back. So it's a quick and easy way to update your user to let you know that hey um, nothing's happening right now but behind the scenes I'm still working hard and uh, then it'll let you know when you're returning control back to the user. Again, keeping the user up to date with what the application is doing is a big goal of the user interface.